the show for men by men. In the men's room with Baz and Jeremy. Is anyone in there? Like, go away, I'll push you in the freaking liver. Excuse me, the men's room is occupied. Yeah. And now for your hosts, Baz Rutten and Jeremy St. Ives. <laughs> hey, what up, man? Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Hey, everybody. My name is Boss Rutten. And I'm Jack. And welcome to the man's room. Yeah, where men can hang out. Okay, now, and tonight in the man's room, we're going to get personal. On this show, we're going to be discussing a lot, a lot of aspects of health, especially how to endanger the health of others with others. Did you? Not me. Artists. Now, we've got relationship advice, like how to avoid bruising the face. We're going to take some calls, advising women how to deal with their men. But that's, that's pretty easy, right? I mean, it's just the thing that you need to do is a click to the groin right there. And when your body connects with the reproductive organs of another man, let me tell you, buddy, it's pain and beauty. Also, we have a special, and we call that special, the cubicle, the copier, and stabbing a co-worker in the eye with a little pencil. <laughs> like, like this. Look at the blood, look at the blood, look at the blood. <laughs> this is going to be an unbelievable show. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be discussing rectal marital age. Oh, shut up. First off, I want to talk to you about a second to learn, see if I can teach you how to understand your anger. Now, anger is the death of so many men. Mm -hmm. Heart problems, health problems, boldness, impotence, waking up in the middle of the night with your hands covered in blood and you have no idea what happened. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've been around. Anger. It's a four-letter word, and boy, does that bring you down. Channel that anger into something positive, like beating the shit out of little guys. Oh. Bah, bah, bah. No, Baz, no, that's, that's not nice. Hey, listen, we all hate it to be ignored, right? Some people try yoga or putting neon under the car, whatever that does. But getting the point across in this life is easier than you think. Thunk, 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 <laughs> just like that. Are you listening, sir, now? Are you listening? Do you see me now? Uh, I bet you he is going to see you. You want to get manhandled? Buck, buck, buck! This usually works for me. What about you? Man, you are really pent up. Yes. You know, you should try some aromatherapy. Hey, listen, the only aroma that I like is the smell of burning flesh. Oh. You understand? Take it the other day. I was walking, uh, talking to a friend of mine on the phone a long time ago. He was telling me how he liked the respect and attention from the fellow school teachers in school. Uh, what do you do if you don't get respect? Okay, so I told him, the way you get a man's attention is by doing the unexpected. But just like that, you see? It works with him, works for you. You know, you walk down the street, all nice. And looky look, what do we have here? Oh, it's the lamppost. Oh, this is your head. Just smack your lamppost against it. Do you like that? Do you see me now, huh? Do you see me now? Okay. I think now, in this teacher's lounge, trust me, those people there, they know he's around. Nobody will ignore him anymore. And if a woman walks by, the only thing you need to do, whip it out and say, what are we going to do about this? I'm telling you, people cower under their desks. When he's nearby, man, it's much better. Yeah, charmed, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, hey, Baz, I, I think we need to take a commercial break. We'll be back in the men's room. Remember, don't tap your foot under the stall. 911, what is your emergency? Oh, I think my heart stopped. The left side of my face has gone numb. Who are you calling for Burger Shot? The Heart Stopper, the all new tower of a meal at Burger Shot. It's the six pound burger you can't live without. The Heart Stopper, seven patties, six pounds of meat and cheese. You'll be flatlined in five seconds flat. Mm, this is a fucking good burger. Drive in, take out, Burger Shot. Die with a smile on your face. It's back. The groundbreaking formulaic cliffhanger 72. Can Judd Parker save the world from terrorists by staying up for three days and torturing every person of color he can find? I hope so. 
The cliffhanger begins soon, only on Weasel. And now, we're back in the place where your mom's phone number is scrawled in the stall, The Men's Room with Baz and Jeremy. Who's on line three? Yeah. Hey, uh, am I on? This is Mike. What's up, Mike? I tell you what, Baz. My boy Jeff, he is your number one fan. Are you Good. sure he's in the joint right now? But he'll be out in a couple of years. Man, you really put a lot of great advice in your show. Thank I you. mean it. You know, Thank you. you got to put yourself first or people will put you second, you know? I mean, history has some great examples of that. Thanks, Mike, and thanks, Jeff. Now... A lot of people in the joint should learn from my advice. You are the boss or you are the bitch. Mm -hmm. That is the name of my next book. I don't believe in an eye for an eye. Oh, no, because boss believes in an eye for two eyes. Or better yet, an eye for two eyes and an ear and a spleen. And maybe a new shirt because this one is covered in entrails. Like that! Who wants to knife fight with me in the audience? Who wants to knife fight Fast. with me Fast. in the audience? Fast! Fast. Cowards! Fast! You sound really constipated. You know, I had a colon cleansing. It was really fantastic. Man, I had so much fecal matter impacted inside of me. Ugh, it was such a drag. I tell you what boss says will clean you right out. A nail gun. Bop, bop, bop! And then I grab a circular saw and then I cut off your arm. Uh, Just like it. And I start hitting with the wet part of the arm. I'm on a construction motif right now. Okay, let's go to the phones. So, who's on line five? Hey, man. My name's Jack. I'm a big fan of the show since you What's came up? back on air. I have a question. Is cyber sex cheating? Like, I've got a video camera up to my junk and I'm in a chat room all lubed up. All my online friends say my junk looks amazing. My hobby doesn't hurt anyone, but my wife's divorcing me. I tell you, I hate the internet. It's for cats and pedophiles, and it's for girly men who want to trick bus. And let me tell you, it's not like real life. I love myonlineme.com. You know, you can really get in touch with yourself by building a little virtual character and uh, building him a house and making him go to the bathroom and watching him sleep. You know what? I hate it. That's what I do. I walked up to the people in virtual reality and I can't break their legs. What good is virtual reality if you can't make people? <laughs> it's bullshit. You know what this is, Jeremy? What? What's this? What's this? that? That's toilet paper. Absolutely right. You have to realize that everything around you is a weapon. Mm. Toilet paper, spoons, a hacksaw. If you're in a lot of trouble, you have real ultimate power. Listen, and you will learn. Now, let me tell you, I've been around. I was in a bar once, and I said something to this drag queen, and she kicked me in the nuts. Can you <laughs> believe that? Now, listen, I don't take shit from nobody, especially a man who dresses as a woman. So I grab her by the fucking hair, and I bounce her head. <laughs> Okay, who's in charge now, huh? So suddenly this guy comes out and he attacks me. I grab a beer ball, pack, break it on the table, stab it in his face. It's bleeding everywhere and down he goes and he had glass in his eye. Dry queen screams, oh, what's going on? I need to come. I look at him in the eye and I say, listen, buddy, this day of misery has just begun. Right in their fucking face. And another guy comes to me with a pool cue. Uh oh, not enough rappers now. Okay, say, listen, are you gonna do something with that? And I slid his throat over and out. He was gurgling, and then I licked his face, and I started laughing. Ha <laughs> ha! And the bartender, it was unbelievable. Fuck you, bartender. I walked outside, I get on a motorcycle, and I get back to my house. Finally, when I was home, I took a long, warm bubble bath. Yeah. Well, thanks for that. Well, we're straight out of time. Uh, see you next time in the men's room. The Men's Room, brought to you by... The Alco Patch. It's the same refreshing feeling of your favorite drink, but delivered transdermally and discreetly. Pick up the Alco Patch at your local pharmacy. Get ready to put your family to sleep. Weasel presents a whole new season of Ether. 
ringtone defines who you are and how much money you have. So take bling to the next level with Audio Bling. It's VIP luxury ringtones. Oh, they've got that dragon brain ringtone. I've got the science of crime ringtone. Now everyone knows I'm as boring as a show. VIP luxury ringtones, including extreme tones like a person being beheaded or diamonds. A old bitch falling and breaking her hip. <gasps> wow, that's dope. VIP luxury ringtones. Only 100 bucks. Be an individual. Get a VIP luxury ringtone today. Visit VIPLuxuryRingtones.com. Recorded live from Liberty City at the home of the six drink minimum, the famous Split Sides Comedy Club presents all the way from London, Europe, Mr. Ricky Gervais. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. I've been thinking a lot about war recently. A lot of it about. A lot of bad stuff in the world. Someone's always at war. I was thinking, what's my favourite war? Vietnam, best soundtrack, <laughs> definitely. Second World War, best ending. <sighs> what a finale. <laughs> you know it's over when <sighs> you can't follow that, that's the end. <laughs> People are worried about that though because the atomic bomb, oh. It ended a war, which is good, but the effects are still being felt, which is bad. And it was invented by Einstein, and he's a genius. In his uh, 1907 paper, Einstein said that light could be described as discrete bundles of energies, that when irradiated, I'd, what sort of cunt thinks like that, really? <laughs> I mean, that's what turns Stephen Hawking's mental. Too much thinking. I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure. The universe is expanding. Yeah, of course it is, Stephen. <laughs> Take a day off. Go for a walk. Or, not a walk, but open a window. Watch a bit of TV. Robot Wars is on. You like that, don't you? She go, oh, you can't ever go at Stephen Hawking, he's a genius. He's not a genius. He's pretentious. Born in England and talks with an American accent. <laughs> Cambodia. That was a good one. Pol Pot. He killed 100,000 people. He rounded up 100,000 people and he killed them because they were what he called intellectuals. And that was his threat. And you know how he told whether they were intellectual or not? Was whether they wore glasses. If they're that clever. Take them off when they see him coming. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, well, Kierkegaard, here comes Pol Pot. All right? Yeah, not too bad, yeah. Yeah, good, yeah. Oh, thank you, Mr. Pot, yeah. No, I'm, I'm thick, as you can see. I'm th him over there, look. Oh, oh, don't kill him. Falklands War. That's probably my favourite. People say it was a conflict. It was a war, and it's my favourite because it was a range war. And what that means is that the Argentinian guns could fire nine kilometres, whereas the British guns could fire 17 kilometres. So we just parked our boats about 10 kilometres away, and theirs were falling into the water, while we were shelling the shit out of them. It's the war equivalent of holding a midget at arm's length. <laughs> right. And he's flailing, and, just missing, and you're just steady kicking in the bollocks. Ow! Smack. Ow! Smack. People go, oh, you must never go at midgets. Why not? What are they going to do? <laughs> you must never go at fundamentalist terrorists. They're the scary ones. Midgets, do what you want. <laughs> Thanks very much. Good night. Mr. Ricky Gervais. Critics are raving about how the West was won on Weasel. Running horses, justified genocide, big bosoms, and chip face shootouts are coming to Tuesdays on the next season of Spittoon. Don't miss it. Honey! What are you doing sitting in your car in the driveway staring at your phone? Are your pants on buckled? It's the Wiz Wireless Video Package. Watch all your favorite movies on your phone, on demand. At home, at work, while stuck in traffic. Adult titles, too. You won't want to get out of your car. Honey, the neighbors are calling the police. Wiz Wireless. Do the social vibe. Technology. It's what a man needs. Extreme 9. The Excelsior Extreme 9. 9. 
blades of glory. Facial hair makes you look like a pervert or a hobo, or someone covering a scar he got tossing salad in the joint. Now take your shaving to the extreme. It's a sports car, power lift, expensive watch on a Mediterranean beach of a shave at turbo quality levels. Technology has arrived at the razor's edge. Excelsior Extreme 9. It's the show that may save your life. How to survive when there's a suitcase nuke on your train. Can you and your family afford to miss it? Republican Space Rangers! Intergalactic War on Terror But don't worry about collateral damage or error Cause we're nuking hate, we're spreading freedom and liberty Sometimes, Sometimes we, we kill, kill with undue glee. glee Oh, is that your home? Sorry! Gotta complete the mission And possibly deny extraordinary additions and American values. Sometimes, Sometimes you, you gotta, gotta bomb an orphanage or two. Republican Space Rangers! When strangers you've never met threaten your way of life, who do you call? Republican Space Rangers! They are Butch, Commander, and Dick! When we last met the Rangers, they were in a perilous situation on the planet Sphera, encountering strange beings while heroically protecting Earth from unknown dangers. The saga continues. Republican Space Rangers, shoot first and ask questions never! Space Rangers, we have never heard of your planet Earth or your sponsor, Piss Wasser. But we welcome you to our planet. We are agrarian and do not have much. But what we have, you may share. Huh? What's he saying? Man, that's gibberish. Fuck if I know. He's speaking some kind of weird jibber-jabber space dialect with long words. Dialect smilect. I don't trust the son of a bitch. Besides, it looks queer to me. And if we don't fight him here, they'll follow us to America and pollute the blessed homeland. You know the drill, boys. Your strange religion and foreign ways threaten our freedoms! Dan, you look fruity like... like you got a wide stance, you know? But... but this is my home, brothers. Here it is you who is strange. Can't we all get along? What's he saying, man? This alien sure speaks crap. Hey! I blame Glace! Hola! Hey! Listen up, shit for brains! The time for peaceful negotiations is over! You heard the boss, asshead hole! You know what time it is, baby! It's time to die! Wait! <laughs> Make sure you get the children! They'll just turn into insurgents themselves! Hey, them youngins is running into that alien orphanage! It seems to me we've uncovered a terror plot! Innocent people back home will suffer, I repeat! They will suffer! Shit! Hey there, Commander. This here nuke is armed and on your go, baby. That's 10-4. Let's get on the ship and vaporize these SLBs. Woo yeah, baby! Uh, all right. Another round, boys. You deserve it. Uh. You are heroes today. And I say, with a tear in my eye, Mission accomplished! Hoorah! Hoorah! Democracy is a gift to the universe. Those alien kids learned a valuable lesson today. Oh, oh I got a breach in the airlock. Oh, hey, God, God damn There it. was a report from Fort Ass. General shit's on his way. Oh. <laughs> God damn it, soldier! You are specifically prohibited from firing off air biscuits! Hey! Hey! What's that up ahead? Oh, yeah. Oh. This, uh... Wait you idiot! You're Hold looking it. at the microwave oven! Look at the screen! Oh, I'm sorry, Commander. I was cooking me up a quesadilla. Hey, this here registers as a strange planet on the Insurgent Scan. Well, it's on the map. Fuck if I can pronounce the name. No surprise there, but I say we take no chances anyway. Let's give them eight kinds of hell, Butch! Fire it all! With pleasure, sir! I never get tired of seeing that. Well done, fellers. Put a note in the log. Encounter terrorist threat. Commence to liquidize same enemy. Freed mankind. And I'm recommended both of you sons of bitches for some more medals and shit. Oh, thank you, Commander. Hey, listen, can we uh 
Can we shower together later? Indubitably! But only after we play space volleyball and work ourselves up a man's size sweat! Oh man, y'all know I ain't good at no volleyball. Hush. Don't ruin it. It's too tender. Oh, I got something on the insurgent scan again. Hey, readings indicate minerals and gold! <laughs> well, boys, lock and load. Let's have ourselves a look and see what he's saying. Remember, if we meet any strangers, kill them! I bet these punks have no capacity whatsoever for peaceful coexistence, drive through liquor stores, gun shops, or the democratic freedom to have their votes discarded in swamps! Shit, they better learn how to pray in school! Oh, give it a rest! They're fucking savages, dick! Hey, here's one now. The gods were right! You've come! Welcome to our peaceful land of plenty! What is he saying? This son of a bitch doesn't even speak American! Yes, I do. I said welcome! Ow! You prick! You shot me in the tentacle! No problem. It will grow back. Listen, I forgive you, brother. Carrying around the burden of hate is worse for me than those I despise. What on God's green earth is he saying? I don't know, sound like some Tai Chi Chuan Fandango transvestite bullshit! I don't know, I was thinking the exact same thing. See, I recognize some of the words, but the sentiments seem simplistic and, well, foreign if you will. I don't understand what anybody's saying, I just want to shoot! Enemies out there, boys! The enemies out there! No! The enemy's inside! Listen, guys! Welcome! We've arranged a welcome party! With a tequila slide! Good times! We'll get started with massages from attractive she-aliens, then, after hand release, we'll You better stop trying to buy my men off with your women! Ditto! Yeah! I hate women! Oh, uh, sorry! We mean no offense! Listen, we really need your help. We are a loving, peaceful race. Last menstrual moon cycle, an evil race of aliens invaded and began imposing their will on us. They enslave many of my people, steal our natural resources with no-bid contracts while destroying our culture. Can you help? Oh no, here comes one of them now. What are you saying? Sharing scum. I was explaining to these manly space rangers how you've enslaved my people. Of course we have. You've got resources we need, and besides which, we are evil and greedy. <laughs> I like this little guy. He's speaking a lot of sense, know what I mean? Hey, you wanna go bass fishing? Man, what's he saying? My god, you are a fucking moron. Listen, you two, please. These evil aliens are destroying our people and culture. You're weak. You deserve to suffer. He's got leadership skills on him, too. This little valor's incredible. Hey, Commander, awaiting your orders. Hell, our mission is clear as mud, boys. And I do not believe in any manner of deviation. Except, of course, for that one night in college when we had one too many wine spritzers. Are you calling me a deviant boy? No! No, 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 no! Therefore, we must travel through space, meet strangers, and kill them good! For democracy and liberty! Hurrah! But I can give you wisdom! And I can make you rich! Alright, I've heard enough of this shit! You know the drill, fellas! No, 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 uh, no! Cook up! Yeah! <laughs> That'll teach that son of a bitch what shocking all means. You did a great job, boys. I'm proud of you. Oh, damn it, dick! I told you no bop on the baloney in outer space! Sorry, Commander, but this soldier is unable to stop thinking about your warm, hairy embrace! Republican Space Rangers! Republican Rangers of Space! Oh, shit. Uh, wait. God damn it! When primitives, light years away, threatened their way of life, the Republican Space Rangers will be there to make sure democracy wins again. Republican Space Rangers. Meet John Hunter. As a state senator, he voted to close down all schools in Liberty City and give the money saved directly to drug addicts. John Hunter wants to be your governor, but he hates our troops so much, 
He wants them to cut and run and come home cowards. John Hunter has lost an erection more than once and disappointed his wife much in the same way he'll disappoint you. And he definitely has hair plugs and lifts. Call John Hunter. Tell him that comb over's not fooling anyone, you short-ass bald bastard. It's just like your policies. Thin on top and short of ideas. Paid for by Michael Graves for Governor. He says, she says, he says, shut up. The women of Dazzletown show their true nature in Vinewood Cunts. Only on Weasel. You're late to see your therapist. You're in a hurry. You've had a couple of martinis at lunch. Then someone or something gets in the way. What do you do? Leave the scene? Head for the border? Not with VIG Insurance. Now you don't have to worry. Call one of our claim representatives immediately, and we'll deal with the law. Silence any victims before uncomfortable litigation can happen. We insure against drunk driving, accidental gun discharge, and narcotics violations. Big insurance, because freedom equals peace of mind. Weasel Wednesdays heat up next season with vacation home sluts. Don't miss it on Weasel. All next week, it's patriotism at its finest as Weasel revisits history with the non-stop terror marathon. Back-to-back -back docudramas blaming liberals for everything. Only on Weasel. Last week, we brought you the greatest victory in the history of televised card gambling mayhem. Five men looking with disgust at each other as their women look on in envy from the sidelines. It's like a sixth grade circle jerk, Malcolm. Hey, that's right. And with that, welcome back to the Venturas Poker Challenge in association with Cerveza Baracho. Because when you've got a full house, it's playtime! And E. Cola, because gambling is deliciously infectious. I'm Malcolm Fitzherbert. And I'm Troy Berger. Uh, Troy, this is the biggest payday in sports. Next to convincing a city to give you a stadium and land tax-free. Or when your city gets the Olympics. Oh, that's right. I mean, seriously, what can you say about what we've seen so far? Well, Malcolm, it's been a real... Well, what I'm... I'm just at a loss for words. Yeah. I mean, seriously, it is just a tough time describing this. And, you know, I am paid to avoid uncomfortable silences. Well, it, it's been truly remarkable. This is entertainment at its finest. This is sport at its best. This is human drama at its most humane and dramatic. I'm sure Chris Cummings is going home a millionaire. And you know how he did it? By day after day, risking his future, betting on a whim, putting everything he owned on the line for a lie. If that's not a metaphor for life, I don't know what is. Chris moved here from San Piero, says he likes moving to a desert with a faceless suburb stretch on for a hundred miles. You can get a McMansion cheap, and there won't be any water left in five years. <laughs> well, you said it, Malcolm. Okay, just minutes ago, cocksure Chris Cummings pulled a bluff on Ace's high Fruit Loop and sent the whole place insane. Lunacy, five people died. Bet it all, don't play it safe, and go home a winner. Wow, the Poker Dome rules. Guys covered with logos, wearing sunglasses, indoors. I mean, these athletes are incredible. They're here for one thing, to win a shiny bracelet that says they're number one. Call it honky bling, but every man wants it. You know, every time I see Steve Buffet Karjabowicz play, I am amazed at the agility of the man. I am terrified of the wisdom and I am fascinated by the bubbling undercurrent of sexuality. What? Uh, can you take your hand off my leg? What I guess I'm saying is, uh, when that man rides the river, that river knows it's been ridden. The Venturas Poker Challenge! Hey, wait, 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 he's thinking. What's Jebowitz gonna do? What's in store for the buffet car? I am not sure. Uh, you think he's got pocket rockets? Cause you know, pocket rockets take out a pair of whores. Oh, they sure do, Troy. Man, I'm so excited I could pee! Now, keep quiet. No, oh, sorry. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait. Cummings is looking at his cards. 
This is a huge moment. Unbelievably Ooh. big. That man is all about the flock. Oh, fantastic. Ooh. I cannot believe that. Wow. He's folded. Take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. You just saw history here tonight. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> the crowds are going ballistic here in the desert. Hey, that's what it's all about. That and smoking and drinking yourself into an early grave. Hey, let's take a quick break. This break is brought to you by Sprunk, because commercials are the essence of life. And Cherenkov, because commercials warm you to the core. Uh-oh, here comes Michael Graves with more of his negative attack ads. But let's stick to the facts and move past these pathetic politics of division and swift boating. Fact. Michael Graves spent taxpayer money on a vacation home in the Philippines where young boys speak in lisps and don't wear pants. Michael Graves says he supports family values, but his wife is a harlot and has aborted five children. Maybe Michael Graves has forgotten the tragic events a few years ago, but we haven't. He wants to end the war on terror and make America and your children vulnerable to terrorists, much like those little boys are vulnerable to him. You have a choice come election day. Choose freedom for your state. Vote John Hunter for governor. The future depends on you making the right decision. A special night, a special man. Coming in three weeks, it's the Crow Reunion in Iran. Whoa, this is more exciting than chatting with a teen girl online. I'm completely engorged. Welcome back to the Venturas Poker Challenge. While you were away, you missed something ridiculous. The poker gods were smiling on dangerous Derek Thornton just now. He took the sport in a whole new direction. Yeah, that's right. Earlier, we spoke with Derek, and he said his typical day, he wakes up around 3 p.m., plays poker online for a few hours, goes to the bar with friends, comes home ass-faced, and does the whole thing again the next day. He's never read a book. Seeing that, people from around the country have flocked here to come and train for this sport. You know, Troy, what we're doing here is illegal in most states of the Union. But what happens in Las Venturas stays in Las Venturas, except when you're donating blood or semen to fuel a poker addiction. But before we forget, this section of the show is presented in association with Release Gum, because you chew, you suck, then pow, life has shot a load in your mouth. And Pill Farm, because when the cards go against you, it's time to swallow, and it's good for you. You know, I don't know about you, Malcolm, but I am just amazed at the endurance of these serious athletes. We've been playing for hours now and no sign of fatigue. Oh, that's absolutely right, Troy. 21-year-old Butch Roberts, former manager of Rusty Brown's Ring Donuts, may now win a bracelet here tonight and be able to buy himself a whole chain of donut shops to be run by foreigners because we're too lazy. Exactly. It's the fitness level of our biggest stars that make poker the incredible sport it has become. Example, Jennifer Trashcan Zelensky. She's been sitting there for hours now and no sign of tiredness. A cosmetics clerk from Nebraska, she's barren and instead has adopted eight children from Venezuela, all of whom are here tonight, except for her adopted son, Jimmy, who is gay. Well, she's one tough lady. I bet her pants smell like daisies. And how? Uh, wait, she's going to put it all in, just like she's seen a pair of cowboys to ride. I tell you, that last round, she won it with a handful of doggy balls. Oh, she sure did. Those eights will kill you. Terry Kim, the destroyer, he has not budged. Fit as a fiddle. The guy smokes three packs of Redwoods, drinks a cocktail every five minutes, but still, he keeps on coming relentless. I mean, that kind of luck is what a serious training program can do to you. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're not men. They are not women. No. They are gods. His wife and mistress both looking on from the sidelines. Hey, wait. Oh, my God! Oh, mercy! Remember the date. Remember the time. Remember where you were sitting when you saw this. And for those new to our sport, where have you been? It is all on this next three cards. Or the one after. Or the one after that. Yes, it, it's ridiculous. Uh, we've had it all here tonight. Quite, uh, qu quite amazing.
Well, it's a three! It's a three! It's a three! <laughs> Amazing! That doesn't help anyone. Oh, next card is coming up. Oh, <laughs> this tension is killing me. Me too. Uh, man, watching other people play cards is so exciting. Yes. Uh, uh, Terry Kim has such a poker face. The pros at this sport measure themselves as to how many chips they have right now. It's like a whorehouse. You can be dealt something that you carry with you all your life. After seeing this, I don't need to live anyway because I have seen it all tonight. You know, I have a small pair, but I talk a good game. Ooh, here comes the turn. It, it, it's, 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 oh, oh, wow. oh my wow. God. Wow. It's the nine of clubs. <laughs> you know, he could have gotten an ace or a queen. Oh, yeah, he sure could have. Or even a, a seven or a two. Oh, true, true. Uh, but the devil wears nines tonight. Mm. <laughs> it's nine steps to heaven for Phil Deadman Davidson. If he gets the next card. That's right. It's all in the river. Oh, this this is what we live for. Wow, luck has really shined on cocksure Chris Cummings. The rest of these guys should really think about killing themselves, because when you lose at poker on TV, life is the pits. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, my God. And that's all we have time for here in Venturis. This has been a Jeremiah TV production in association with Shark Credit Cards, because this show has been extortionate value and love me because we've made you whole again. For all of us at the Venturis Poker Challenge, bet it all, don't play it safe, and go home a winner. How will you know if terror is about to win? A terror alert this afternoon in Liberty City. An awesome, terrible tragedy tonight in the South Slope section of Brooklyn. Weasel News, the news Liberty City trusts. Are you a sex offender? Find out tonight. Ethnics are at it again. Weasel News is on the scene hovering at a safe level in our chopper. The best in political news and analysis. Today, President Lawton suspended habeas corpus and saved freedom. That's excellent. And Weasel Chopper 4. If someone's in trouble or on fire, the Weasel News Chopper is there on top of the action. Sir, you there on fire. Could you face the camera, please? Hard-hitting stories, attractive news anchors with great hair, self-consciously multicultural with racist undertones. It's the Weasel News Team. Anchors Cindy Shiny, Charles Justice, meteorologist Artie Schneider, street reporter Sheila Hatano, and Kenny Lapolano with the sports. We call it News. Your team for the war on terror, the weather, and sports. Weasel News. Recorded live from the capital of the world, Liberty City, the famous Split Sides Comedy Club invites you to light up and bring the love to the comedy club where the drinks ain't cheap. Welcome to the stage, Mr. Cat Williams. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Liberty City. Woo! Great. It's great. I've never, never been here before. It's my first time. It's a visitor to Liberty City. This is amazing. The speed and the pace in which this city works. Went on a mini adventure today. I got up, got dressed, got my swagger right, had my bravado, and I decided I'm going to cross a Liberty City street Slowly. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Everything moves so fast here. Why are people moving so... I, a homeless man ran past me. Where could he possibly be fucking going? He could lay down and be home. Immediately. Just lay down and be home. But he was speeding past me. Furious pace. Everything's so fast here in Liberty City. It's crazy. It's crazy. Your gas prices are too high. $69 a gallon, a bit ridiculous. My car cost about $72. Let's try to get it back in focus. People don't speak here in Liberty City. I don't know. It's like they're scared to be shot or something. Like I, I spoke all day. Hey, how are you? Nothing. Good looking at you, ma'am. Nothing. Hello, officer. Nothing. It's a crazy city. I'm enjoying it, though. It's very exciting. A lot of options here. A lot of options in Liberty City. You can get whatever you want. You like pussy? Of course you do. It's here. Liberty City, some of the best I've ever had. I'll tell you that. You know pussy's good when, you, when you're inside of it and you're thinking about other things other than sex. Like things like, wow. Wow. I love gingerbread cookies. When you're thinking that in the pussy, that's when you know it's good shit. The best weed in the world, maybe right here in Liberty City. 
I was so high earlier today, I had a complete discussion with myself in the mirror. <laughs> threatening, threatening. I couldn't believe I'd snuck up on me like that, and I was curious about it. You ever had weed so good that you get stuck? You know, stuck. Stuck like when you need to leave, you want to leave, you got to leave, but you can't fucking go. Stuck. That's what you find here in Liberty City. You've got everything. The greatest basketball team. Who's fucking with the Liberty City Warriors? It's crazy. I remember there used to be a guy played as good as the guy you guys got, but he didn't want to pass the ball. He never passed the ball. And so the rest of the team was just up and down, just... They were physically fit, but never scored any points. This selfish bastard. They're just chasing him down the court. Just... <sighs> I'm open. Nothing. Nothing. Liberty City's got a, a team made out of warriors. You need that. You need a strong, you need a strong team. You, have, you gotta be strong anyway. This is a weak world. You come to Liberty City, you can get strong in this weak world. I know it's weak. I started out weak. I wasn't always tall like this, but you used to be short. A lot going on when you're short. People lie to you. My parents looked me directly in the eyes and told me, out of a shadow of a doubt, eat all your vegetables, drink your milk, you'll grow up big and tall. Lying son of a bitch. You know how many vegetables I ate? Hmm? Any idea? How much milk I consumed? I should be the size of a cow. Why am I not the size of a cow? I drank the same thing the fucking cow drank. Still short. I knew I was short because I, I, I wore one pair of jeans probably five years through school. Five. You could tell how old I was because of the ring where I would cuff it and then let the cut out a, a quarter of an inch. I grew a quarter of an inch and I'd let it out and there'd be that other line. And then, yeah, I'm not depressed. I'm just saying. If you got short kids at home, go home and kiss them because it's terrible. Thank you. Good night. It's coming back to Weasel, another season of the Weasel history drama, Homo Erectus, Science Meets Forbidden Love, only on Weasel. 80 sitcom star and a passenger are paralyzed in what police say is part of a reality show. We're live on the scene. You just can't help getting sucked in on the way down. The number one rated reality show is coming back for another season. Waning with the Stars, the show where we follow formerly big celebrities on their way down. See ordinary contestants paired with Death Wish drug addled celebrities to see who hits the skids first and how far they slide. Remember Sharice McCormick? She was on the most popular sitcom of the 80s. Now she's on a serious bender, reduced to shooting skin flicks for crack. And you'll see contestants try to keep up as they freebase, get into high-speed chases, and surf internet porn with 80s professional wrestler, The Grinder. Five contestants, one fading dream, a ton of alcohol and drug abuse. Enjoy watching once smug celebrities who have hit rock bottom stay there. Waning with the stars, a new season coming soon on Weasel. Republican Space Rangers! Intergalactic war on terror. We don't worry about collateral damage or error. Cause we're nuke and hate, we're spreading freedom and liberty. Sometimes, Sometimes we, we kill, kill with undue glee. glee. Oh, is that your home? Sorry! Gotta complete the mission. And possibly deny extraordinary addition. Red and American values. Sometimes you gotta bomb an orphanage or two. Republican Space Rangers! With idiot liberals working to undermine America, who do you call Republican Space Rangers? They are Butch, Commander, and Dick. We join the Ranger's ship, floating in an uncharted nebula deep in the black depths of space. Beer stain detected. Vomit detected. Baby batter detected. <laughs> Whoa. What? Huh? Lord. Anybody see a cat running around here? Uh, what cat? 
I ain't the one to shit in my mouth. I don't know. Oh, god damn, it's hot in the chubby girl's undercarriage in here. I got fucking vapor locked in my shorts. You, tin can, what the hell is going on here anyway? The atmospheric regulator is offline. You've been in cryosleep for eight years. Eight years? Dick, you dumb shit! You programmed the cryogenic alarm clock wrong in the boring part of the last episode! It was supposed to be eight hours, not eight years! <laughs> Ow! Ow! Oh, hey, why are y'all staring at me? Oh no! I must have put the sun lamp sitting on for eight years too! Now I'm a metrosexual! I oughta send your fake bank ass out the airlock! Log into the ship's computer, soldier sissy pants! That's an order! <laughs> Sir, I forgot my damn password! That will never get the ship started! Hey, Dick, try doggy balls four. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah. Uh, how do you spell four? Uh, no, no, that ain't it. Uh, all right, uh, give a clown pocket a whirl. No, 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 not that either. Try pink harmonica. No, no. Take, take over, fat princess. Nah. Oh, uh, what the fuck was it, boy? I think the password has been reset. Shit. Allow me to type it in. Huh? Oh. What the hell is that word? That looks like Latin faggot shit to me. Must be one of them random letter generators. Anyway. <laughs> oh no. It has been eight years. Everyone's defriended me. I've missed out on all that blogging and telling people what I hate about standing in line at the grocery store. Shut <laughs> your pie hole, super shopper. Social networking is for queers. A real man hates himself silently and his friends openly. Plus, you were getting too goddamn carried away with that shit. Say cheese. Smile, dirt star. Oh, god damn it, Butch! Uh, hey y'all, we have orders to return to Earth immediately. Hoorah! In fact, we's a little late. These orders are five years old. I don't gotta hear that twice, boys. Let's hit it! I can't wait to head back to the good old U.S. of A. and make me some motorboat sounds between a couple of genuine American fake silicone hooters! Booyah! Yeah! <laughs> That's me and my mother. <laughs> Whoop, ah. All right. Hey, fellers! I bet they make a bronze statue of us as heroes! But I'll tell you what, my action figure better have a four foot inflatable cock, cause I hey. wanna. Hey! Hey, where is everybody? Where's the welcome party? Who's this guy? Welcome back, service people. Here, have some medals. Your country is proud of you. Please sign here to give up your rights to a pension. It's your patriotic duty. A lot has changed on Earth and the military in the past eight years. First, we'll need your weapons, boys. What? Man, these must be outdated. Oh, I can't wait to get my new gun. Y'all have one that'll shatter an alien's final column, but leave them conscious so I can go them before crushing the life out of them with my boot. Yeah, yeah, or, or, or a gun that blows the enemy's clothes off like a, like a nude bomb, yeah. you know? <laughs> then you'd know if the bad guys have a gun. You <laughs> shut it, soldier. Everyone knows terrorists hide guns in their butts. <laughs> That's why you look there first. Uh, no, actually, gentlemen, here are your new weapons. What in the high holy hell is this? Where's the trigger? That's an excellent question. It is a non-lethal conflict resolution device. Too many enemy combatants were harmed through crude projectile-based weaponry. These project positive affirmations that help you bridge the gap and solve matters peacefully. Well, give me the goddamn thing. It's... Oh! Jesus fucking Christ, this is a joke, right? A what? But a joke, Bubba! A joke. Oh, yes, yeah. I'm sorry. Jokes were outlawed several years ago. Too many parents' groups were getting offended. This is a genuine American peacemaker. It makes peace and encourages participants in a conflict to relax and shed their angry selves before reconvening around a conference table in HR to discuss problems. Well, how the hell am I supposed to get Poon Job to tell me where the next terror plot is with this thing? Hell, we need flamethrowers and duct tape and, ooh, <laughs> waterboarding. Oh, and electric nipple clamps. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, that's the best part. Wrap them nipples. And naked human pyramids. Ooh, 
Uh, yes, we don't facilitate torture anymore. What? What the wet patch of piss are you talking about, soldier? Torture works! <laughs> Just watch this. Uh, hey, Uncle uh, Buddy. Oh, no, Uncle! <laughs> now say my uncle touched me funny. <laughs> Dick's uncle touched him funny. Hey, hey, you shut your mouth. That's me and Pawpaw's secret. Oh, mercy. I'm afraid you need to attend a sensitivity retraining seminar. Report to human and other equal species resources. Welcome, servicemen, women, and all other equal species. You know, serving the universe as guardians and protectors is not the simple job it once was. Not by a long shot. I mean, no longer can you shoot a person in the face and post the video of it on the internet. Now, we are conflict resolvers engaged in an equal partnership with all people. The word is non Violence. Let's do a little question as an example. Okay, if an alien horde has threatened your ship, how do you respond? Oh, 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 oh okay, you. Oh, oh, damn. I liquidize them, the commander awards me a medal, we shower together, then drink till we black out, and I wake up in nothing but my socks. Eh, oh, wrong answer. Shame on you. Okay, who's oh, next? Oh, uh, yes. Wait. Okay, I asked them to stop. Good. And then I vaporize them. And then I feel bad about it afterwards. Good. Commander calls me a fag, and we shower and play volleyball. <sighs> well, it's better, but it's still wrong. Oh, I got this. I got this. Got this, motherfuckers. Let me think. Okay. I light a cigar. Eh, no, sorry. Smoking is illegal and bad for your health. What? Okay, okay. I beat their children, stick them on the front of my spaceship like a human shield, then nuke the entire fucking planet into next week. No, wrong answer. I'm afraid I'll have to revoke your medals and label you all as traitors. <gasps> what? I'm sorry, guys. I really what? am. You, you, you can't just do that. I'm a patriot. My favorite beer even says so! And you! You're just a goddamn filthy fucking alien! Uh, oh! I'm an equal opportunities co-worker! Besides, for your information, our president is an alien! Uh, you gotta be shitting me! And that's what my great uncle taught me. True story. So, the fact is, you're probably incorrect. <laughs> no. I'm not waffling here. I'm I'm distracting. Trust me. I know I've never had a real job, but I still understand the economy a darn sight better than you do because of my deep, mellifluous voice. Say, uh, would you like a photograph of me in a swimsuit? <laughs> anyway, from now on, America is all about inclusion, people. And that means lots of taxation and, first and foremost, changing the American flag. So, let me unveil your new flag. My God! The president's a goddamn homo communist! And an alien! Come on, boys! Let's get the hell out of here! Booyah! But you haven't finished your sensitivity training! <laughs> I think we're about done with that shit! Sayonara, sweet cheeks! Yeah! I... Oh. oh, for fuck's sake! Uh, guys, guys! Come back! Can we talk about this? What we gonna do? Well, as patriots and Americans, we are left with only one option. We gotta kill the president or set off a terrorist attack and blame it on brown people. That's pretty heavy. God damn it, we're heroes, son, not diplomats. The right and proper thing to do is to shoot the democratically elected bastard before he changes anything else in this hellhole. We've done it in plenty of other countries. And it worked out great! Yeah! Fuck democracy! <laughs> yeah, we only ever liked that shit when it worked for us anyway! Okay, fellas, gather around. Here's the plan. This is so exciting. Whisper, 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 whisper. Uh, 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 Mr. President? Mr. President, sir? Could y'all stop for a minute? I just wanted to talk to you about writing autobiographies. <laughs> Why, <laughs> that happens to be my favorite topic. <laughs> interesting, very interesting, but at the same time, very important. Hitch your wagon to change. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I think, but uh, I agree with what you say. <laughs> now, Dick! Uh, uh, tell us more, Mr. President! <laughs> Sweet Jesus! 
I've been hit! Little man down! Little man down! Did I get him? Hey, did I get him? You saved my life! You saved my life! Make this man a hero! I think I'll write about you in my next autobiography. And, and, and thus it happened. I was reconciled with the hillbillies, and my identity was complete. I was truly all things to all people. Man, beast, alien, and redneck alike. I am the American dream. I ain't gonna make it. You shot the only thing I ever loved. Y'all have to be a liberal now, Commander. You ain't got no Johnson. Quick! Revive me! <laughs> God damn it, Dick! Get off of me! Will the Commander's toucher be saved? Will the President know how close he came to death? Will his next autobiography be as boring as the previous ones? How will this new liberal world treat our heroes? Find out next time, only on Republican Space Rangers and Rangerettes. Republican Space Rangers is an equal opportunity employer. Violence, sexism, or humor in the workplace will not be tolerated. Coming up later on Weasel News, are you eating rat feces? And have pedophiles invaded your computer? We'll show you how to find out. And a special report on parenting. How to tell if your teen daughter is still a virgin. We call it News. Traffic, weather, and the war on terror together. Weasel News. The show that knows what today's men want. Power tools, moisturizer, and domestic violence. In the men's room with Baz and Jeremy. Hey, you guys are taking forever in this back room. Hey, come bother me in the men's room. Yeah. And now for your hosts, Baz Rutten and Jeremy St. Ives. All right, hi everybody, my name is Boss Rutten. And I'm... And welcome to the man's room. Yeah, yeah, let's kick it up. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's do this. Listen, the ratings are coming in, and people come to me and they say, Boss, how is this show on the air? And I say, this is a reality show. Yes. Two men in the bathroom talking, that's reality. That's where we can be ourselves. Talk about women, talk about love, and talk about snipping the vertebrae in a man's spine. How about going to the phones? How about going to the phones? I know it's time to go to the phones. Hey, let's go to the phones. So, who's on line eight? Hello? Who's there? I am watching you. Uh, who is this? I know where you live. I'm watching you. I'm in your house. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, creepy guy, but I'm going to break your leg. Please attack me, and I will please return the favor. I'm going to rip off your arm, and I'm going to beat you with the red hand. Bang! Bang! And then I'm going to make love to your femur. You know? Just like a dog. Baz, don't, don't. I'm, I'm really scared. Maybe it's that serial killer everybody's talking about. I don't think so. He kills homosexuals. And whereas we, Jeremy, we are tough guys. Tough as nails. Nails. You know what? I shoot a nail into my hand right now. Ooh. That's what we're all about. About helping people through difficult times in the man's room. Yeah, that's, that's right. Difficult times. You know what? You know what? 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 Okay. I want to tell you something. On the streets, everything is legal. Being a man is legal. Well, not quite everything is legal, Bass, uh, but... Between consenting adults, most people turn a blind eye these days. I never turn a blind eye. You turn a blind eye, listen, you gotta get blinded. Bang, bang, bang! Listen, I get my wisdom from the Greeks. You must be like a centaur, part man, part horse. You get drunk and carry off the maiden, and anybody say anything, what do we do, Jeremy? Knee to the groin? Exactly, yes, right there! That's gotta hurt. You're playing a game, and we're calling this game Blue Ball Baseball. I did it once in the bar brawl in Manila. And all the guy at... God. All that guy left, left was his blind eyes. And I walk to him, and I go, pa, pa, pa. So just three little jabs. Is that a retainer on your shirt, or are you just glad to see me? Boom, boom, boom. Three hooks later, I slide him down the bar, his face full of fucking glass. I swear to God, he'll never see again. It's... I... I do a shot, I play some pinball, and then, just for good measure, an elbow <clears throat> to the face, just like that. Yeah. 
Well, you know what I don't turn a blind eye to? Blind people with the seeing eye dogs. They don't have to pick it up. I mean, I wish I could poop in public without having to pick it up. I have no idea what you're just talking about, but hey, listen, I'm sure it's covered in my next book. Pre-order now to avoid disappointment, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, great. Just what the world needs. Another book about how to solve conflict with a nail gun and a bad temper. You heteros are all the same. Let's go to the phones. Hello, line five. Girl, I see your problem. Hmm. You gotta get back to the basics because that's your problem. You know what a great aphrodisiac is? Anger. Hmm. Pain is even better. Just don't take it too far. That's why grudge sex is the best sex you can have. Right? Yes. 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 You gotta hate him, Paula. That's what I'm telling you. You gotta hate him. Um, okay. Yeah, and every time you make love, don't make love. Make hate. <laughs> <laughs> Call him names and really mean it. Little dick, no balls, that kind of stuff. Let him hit you a few times. Pack, just on your freaking face. And then you really let him have it. I said to my lady, really, go on, smack me around. Take that chair, hit it right across my head. Bam, because that's erotic. That. Men like this, Paula, I'm telling you. And then, Paula, give it to him with a baseball bat. Mm, yeah. So he's seconds away from calling the cops. <laughs> or, of course, we can always deliver the good crick in the pills. <laughs> Baz. Uh, okay. Thanks, Baz. I'll be sure to try that and let you know. Thanks. Next caller, come into the men's room. <laughs> Jeremy Bot, this show is gonna be fucking great! <laughs> oh, oh. So, uh, who's on the phone? Hey, Baz. My name's Travis. Your show sucks. You're not so tough. Yo, you teach all this stuff, but I could take you. Trust me, I have a gun. All your stupid roundhouse kicks and stuff can't beat a gun, homie. Lead travels fast, biatch. Oh, Travis, buddy, please hang on the line, okay? Because I want to tell you something. The Garden of Lavender and Roses is one that you have to crawl through over thorns with a knife in your mouth. Exactly. You bite back the tears with the blood running down your face. Mm. This analogy is for life, and it's all covered in my next book. Crawling through the Garden of Lavender and Roses over thorn with a knife in your mouth and slightly aroused. Yes. Listen, I teach you, Travis. You live in Liberty City, right, uh, Tudor? Uh, uh yeah. But, but how do you know that? Well, let me tell you this pretty soon in about five minutes, you will hear a knock on your door <laughs> and three guys will be there. Hmm. The first rule of violence is don't always commit the crime yourself. Now, if you are choking on the sheriff and waiting for the posse to come or making the cyclops fly, it's no matter because sometimes we all have to wait in the dark. Discipline. I tell it to Jeremy all the time. Discipline. It's discipline. Don't let the images Jeremy, of your stepfather, hound you. Don't, don't let him. Don't tell no, him no, about No, 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 you're a man. It's okay, it's okay. What happened is in the past. You're still a man. Okay. Don't worry. You are alone. Alone with your heartbeat. Life quickly spirals out, to, out of control, Jerry. Hmm. I mean, come on. One day, you look in the mirror, and then suddenly, you just punch it. Fuck! And at that moment, you look at yourself in the mirror, and you see the broken reflection, and you, you feel empty inside. Pass. Pass. Come on, let's, let's get back on track here. That's right. When you fight the game of your life, punch your opponent in the liver, and that is <laughs> right there. That's the liver. You have to have the wings of an eagle, the body of a lion, and the tail of a howler monkey. People say, hey, listen, I don't want to study martial arts. The problem with martial arts is the years of training and celibacy. You can't fuck. It's out of, out of the fucking question. It's well known that ninjas aren't allowed to touch themselves or they lose their edge. And if you lose your edge, not good. Now, this gives you great focus and precision when you're cutting off someone's head. 
My method is I teach you how to feel this anger. Obliterate, obli obliterate, obliterate your opponent and ruin his chances at reproduction. And you know what? You're gonna get the girl in the end. It's a great story. You know what else is a great story, Jeremy? Well, I really like Little Red Riding Hood. World War II is a great story. Vietnam, the Falkland Islands, Australia. Men with bare hands taking care of business, setting people on fire. <laughs> Burning their faces. And that's all the time we have for this time. This time. This has been Bass and Jeremy in the men's room. Join us next time in the men's room. Only sissies wash their hands. Don't miss the next episode of Undertaker. The best undertakers from across the nation compete for the most dignified end for your loved one. Grandparents, mothers-in-law, pets, or lawyers. It's dignity all the way as we bring competition to man's final resting place. Undertaker, only on Weasel. Republican Space Rangers! Intergalactic War on Terror. But don't worry about collateral damage or error. Cause we're nuke and hate, we're spreading freedom and liberty. Sometimes we kill with undue glee. Oh, is that your home? Sorry! Gotta complete the mission. And possibly deny extraordinary additions. Spread in American values. Sometimes, Sometimes you gotta, gotta bomb an orphanage or two. Republican Space Rangers! With a universe full of terrorists trying to infiltrate America, who do you call? Republican Space Rangers! They are Butch, the Commander, and Dick. When we last met the Rangers, they were bravely defending the borders of our universe from the horrors of illegal aliens. Republican Space Rangers! Kill first, film it, and stick it on the internet later! Episode 456, Trouble Brewing Down South. I tell you what, boys, there is nothing like barbecue space chicken to make you feel patriotic. Gentlemen, we are on the front lines of freedom right here. This is where our civilization ends and a universe of untold savagery begins. Any illegal alien immigrants try to sneak through this checkpoint, our standing orders are to deport them permanently to H-E double toothpicks! <laughs> Amen! Hoorah! <laughs> Shut up and get tender, bitches! Hey, uh, how come I can hear that gunshot? You know, sound don't travel through no space. Huh? Oh, God damn it, Butcher! Fucking up our character continuity! You're supposed to be dumb as sticks! I'm just saying, all them space movies you hear, you know, with them lasers and ships flying by? But you can't hear nothing in space for real. Space is a vacuum cleaner full of dark matter and impossibly dense. I got some impossibly dense dark matter for you. Mm -mm. Dinner's ready, boys. <laughs> oh, holy snap an asshole! Hey, look at you, mister. Fucking self-improvement elitist with your fancy learning. Hey, look. I got all the educations I need. It's called a gun. Holster that weapon, soldier! Need I remind you that dark matter is what we're supposed to stop from creeping into the blessed homeland? Butch, what are you, some kind of elite son of a bitch now? Yeah, living up in your ivory tower listening to your jam bands and your rap music and whatnot? Are you social networking on me, boy? Uh, Commander, I, I read all this on them internet. Internets? So help me, you better not have yourself a blog, boy. The internets? Well, she ain't for learning. She's for posting unsubstantiated lies on message boards, calling people fags and fart and shit. Do you read me? Yes, sir. Uh, and chatting with underage girls with large hairy hands and Adam's apples and thick ankles that don't shave. Uh, anyway. You two shut your beer holes and be on the lookout for illegal immigrants! They're a scourge, I tell you, gentlemen. Why, when my people came to this country, the last thing they wanted was to be joined by a lot of foreigners once the place was full! It's just like the Constitution says. We the freaking people! I repeat, we the freaking motherfucking people! Uh-oh! Hey, we got a live one there, fellas! Whoa! 
Incoming combat! Lock and load, prepare to fire, boys! On my command! Yeah! Yeah! You try to soil this distant outpost of the homeland with your funny language of merengue hoo-ha, and I'll shoot a load right in your fart box, boy! Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's another great day for spreading freedom, boys! What say we hit the hay? Oh, but before we go, Julio, Ivan, Ming-Ho, get your sorry tentacled arses out here on the double! Si, senor commander. Oh, Julio, Julio, Julio. We said it a million fucking times. Let me be very clear. God speaks English. My Bible is in English. I am English. This am Englandish. Speak fucking English. Si, si, sorry, senor bossman. England very pretty. Is very pretty. Cut the crap, the two of you. England is full of homos. Anyways, listen up, Julio. While me and the real heroes catch some Z's, you zeros give the ship a little cleaning and a good once over. You people are good at that, aren't you? Listen up, my alien friend. The American dream begins under the table. I'm taxed at a dollar fifty an hour. You don't like it? I'm calling immigration come morning. Si, senor. All right, now, vamos, amigos. <laughs> Damn heathen language makes mouth taste like turd just speaking it. Hit the fucking rack, boys! Uh, Commander? You asleep? What? Uh, grab your socks, it's a ra- What? What the hell are you doing in my bunk, soldier? Hi. Uh, I got cold, uh, and I keep thinking I hear crickets, you know? Oh, god damn it, Dick, those ain't crickets! That's my new bangle sleep machine! So you play soothing sounds that help me sleep. Comforted things like the sound of crickets, or rifles cocking, or aliens cowering, or flags unfurling. Now get your ass back to your bunk and get some shut-eye, soldier! That's an order! Leave my teddy bear. Oh, thank you so much for coming. My family is starving. So, I, I brought you some beans. Y'all people like that, right? Beans? Well, anything. Oh, <laughs> I'm so confused. But why? Well, you're filthy alien scum. And I got a mandate here from the Lord God Almighty and Weasel News to kill you, but I, I just want me a new friend. Will you be my little buddy? Well, I... Uh, I, I don't know. I, what do we have in common? I like reading and art and philosophy and studying the universe. What do you like? I like TV and breakfast buffets and mega churches and rodeo and killing people. Only... I don't really like that last part. I'm so confused, alien scum buddy! I'm all alone! <laughs> no, 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 please, please. What about the other two psychotic rednecks in there? The one with the murderous rage and the inbred one always complaining about his sweaty groin? They seem like your kind of people. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, uh, I like Butch and the Commander and all that, but we don't have so much in common no more. That's because we ain't but fucking queers! Oh, shit. <gasps> Unlike you and this intellectual elitist cocksucker! I beg your pardon. Consorting with the enemy, huh? Giving him comfort, are ya? You might as well be pink socking the motherfucker! Hoorah! Hey, y'all been there since beans, haven't you? Hey, excuse me, but how can I be homosexual? I had 14 kids. That is, until you killed most of them! Exactly, motherfucker! Natural selection's what we call it! The way the good lord intended it! Would have been all of them dead if my plasma gun hadn't locked. It's all a clever design, my alien friend. Teach the controversy. Hey, stop staring at my penis. Oh, please. Fuck you, you fudge-packing alien scum. Get this straight, boy. I ain't marrying you because it's it's illegal. And and fuck you, butch. Hey, I bet that alien's demon seed is gonna burn its way into your brain. It's got control of you, Butch! No, Dick! Commander, he, he, he's just my... my friend! Your friend?! Harsh shit, you gay-ass motherfucker! 
Dick, new orders. We got queers to kill. Butch likes alien cock. Uh, Butch, hurry this way. Hey, Butch. Just cause you suck cock, it don't make you gay as long as the lights are off. I grew up on a farm. Where are these homos? Oh, there they are. They're getting away. I can't believe I've become a traitor. We're like outlaws now. You gonna call me the bandit? Oh, they'll probably hang you. Oh, no. I didn't join the Space Marines for this. I signed up to protect Earth and kill foreigners and have video games made about me. Life is complicated. I know, I saw that commercial. Oh, man. It's them. We got a Smokey on our backside, little buddy. Have mercy. Listen up, Butch. Your backside is really gonna be smoking when I'm done with you, do you read me over? Yeah! You stop your poon hanging around with insurgents! You are threatening our way of life! You shall be liquidated like bad debt! With no rescue bill inside, motherfucker! Insurgents? Prepare to die! Oh, piss off, dickhead. What's this? I call it Operation Shitstorm in a Basket! Oh! Oh, shit! All systems are offline! Ah, this can mean only one thing! What? Cyber terrorism! <laughs> but We're running out of air in here! It's like that choking game I like to play with my dad! Only it's real! We've got to save your friends! Well, they called me gay! Maybe I'll just let them die! It's called transference, buddy. It's basic Jungian psychology, from your planet. We have to save those morons, or we'll be just as bad as they. Well, okay, then. Hey, y'all need to get in the seminal vesicle airlock and hit the eject button. We'll catch you. I'm going out like I began. Hoorah, motherfucker! Will the Commander and Dick explode in the vacuum of space? Will Butch become a granola-eating liberal pinko? Will the Commander offend any other minorities? Taking a handicapped woman against her will! Will the alien sign a book deal with a women's magazine discussing conflict resolution in your marriage? Will liberals ever stop hating America? Find out next time, only on Republican Space Rangers! Republican Space Rangers! Tomorrow, only on Weasel, a terrorism special. Why fear is your best friend. Find out, are helicopters really safe? How to tell if undocumented workers in your neighborhood are really a terror cell? And how to protect yourself with this city's appalling restriction on gun ownership. A special look at day trips to nearby states that sell over-the-counter assault weapons. The Weasel Terrorism Special. Weasel News. Standing up to the liberal agenda, one issue at a time.